Two of the major components you see in good hitters are rhythm and timing. Very important for hitters at all levels to have these two things. If you watch Major League Baseball players, very rarely are you going to see a batter at that level that stands in the box stiff and rigid. They're always loose, athletic, they have some rhythm to what they do, and that's how we want young hitters to hit as well. Freeze them up some, and it actually is going to ultimately lead to more bat speed and usually better and more consistent contact. A couple of things we like our guys to remember. One is that we always want to have an athletic foundation, athletic base. That's what's going to lead to some good rhythm and allow us to move a little bit. Another thing is that we don't want a stiff, tight grip or arms. Again, it promotes a little bit of rhythm and the ability to move and have loose, quick movements in our swing. A lot of people call it a load, some call it a trigger. There is some sort of movement that helps get this going, helps the rhythm to this stroke. As the pitcher shows you his back pocket, usually a hitter is gonna start some sort of movement away from the pitcher to get geared up, trigger the swing. And this needs to be a slow, controlled, rhythmic type of movement. Once we've gotten that nice, slow and controlled movement to get some rhythm going in our swing, we need to make sure that the timing is right with the pitch. And what we need to do is make sure that if we take a stride, that stride foot lands in time for us to attack the baseball. We cannot swing and step at the same time. That's not going to work. The foot has to come down first, and then we attack the baseball. So our slow and controlled trigger or load gets us in a position to hit, our stride foot comes down, and once we're set here, then we can make that move to attack the baseball and deliver the barrel to the ball. If you watch hitters at the highest level, you'll see that they start some sort of movement back to get their swing triggered early on, and you'll have kind of a full count before they get into a position where that foot lands. Once that foot lands, contact happens almost immediately. So you have a start, stride hit, start, stride hit. It's that rhythm to hitting that you'll see over and over again out of hitters at a high level. And that's what we want to strive for for our young hitters. Keep them loose, athletic, get some rhythm, but make sure we got that front foot down in time to hit. And that's the way that we time the pitcher and consistently hit balls hard off the barrel.